well, I was sweeping outside and I, of course, was looking at the dirt, you know. And, you know, I was reminded of a message I talked about how, you know, uh, to be one with the, I mean, the, the ideal of what, when, um, the idea that if we do not do what's right, more likely concerning the ideal of God, the God of heaven, you know, it's all about heaven and earth, pretty much. Everything is about heaven and earth, you know, uh, the dynamics of that, that the earth is a restricted, uh, well, let me say the topic. Topic of the message is the reality of earthly restricted restrictions and heaven release. Now, I won't, now, the thing is, here's the thing about, I'm going back to the garden, you know, Eden. Um, what, now watch this, it's interesting uh, about that God showed me about the most important aspects, the most important aspects of us as human beings that we need to find out concerning how, of course, we make our decisions. And, and if we make our decisions, if we want to continually living or dying, is this uh, idea that I'm finna reveal to you about, you know, er well, pretty much everything, you know, is about uh, uh, how we supposed to make sense of things concerning who we are and the purpose we're supposed to serve. And if we do not follow the instructions, the purpose we're not going to serve, pretty much. Um, now, uh, it says in Genesis 1 and 2 that the earth is without form, void, darkness. Now, what you got to understand is that God said this. That's what's very important. That's the very important thing to uh see concerning that God said that the earth is without form, void, darkness, of course, and then God said, let there be light, you know what I'm saying, of course, and he separated light from day, now, what you must understand is when, if God said that if the earth is without form, void, darkness, he's talking from a spiritual position, he's talking from a spiritual position, not just a natural position, but the the uh the, the the natural position will testify really from the spiritual position as we unfortunately are finding out um when we sin and do what's wrong because as when we do what's wrong what happens let me I'm going too fast sorry let me try to break it down now now uh now he said this now he created us from the dust of the ground he created us from earth. He created us from a place that's without form, void, darkness. And now interesting that, you know, if you dig underneath the hole, what substance do you see down there when you dig? Darkness is dark underneath the earth. When the more you dig, you need light in order to see when you dig deep, dark in the earth because it is dark naturally under the earth now what you must understand is now when now god created us from this substance the dust of the ground it's from the earth now he blew a heavenly father has blew breath in us and now a heavenly father watch this a heavenly uh well god a, god, a spiritual god blew breath in us and we became a living soul we became a living soul because of a heaven because of something from heaven made us a living soul uh but at the same time we we our body is created from the dust of the ground that you got to understand this dynamic for me to teach you this now uh what has been uh put inside of us has gave us life and made us a living soul now what does that mean um now watch this it's interesting when you, of course, look at the garden. Now, God said to Adam and Eve, he gave them commandments. You know what I'm saying? That if you eat from this tree, that you surely going to die. Now, watch this. What's the first thing? What's the first sense uh, did uh, Adam and Eve use 
concerning some concerning the God from heaven. They heard. They heard the God that created them gave a commandment to them. And they heard it. And 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 that and now watch this. But as as what the beginning that God said, a sound came out of his a mouth, a sound that we hear, we hear a sound, and that facilitated creation that I want to uh you to understand. Now a sound established this, and now something appeared. Something appeared that you can see. You know what I'm saying? Now, as you know, uh Genesis uh three, the serpent is talking to Eve, and Eve is hearing. From what the serpent said and you know if you eat this tree you become as God and knowing good from evil and Eve believe it but watch what Eve said Eve it says Eve saw that the fruit was good to eat you know what I'm saying she saw see she heard and she saw that it was good to eat and now when she saw that it in her she saw and in her she was thinking meditating on doing it and now she's meditate thinking on doing it now she's now and unfortunately humanity is living living it out you know and concerning the decision that she made of eating the fruit and Adam eating the fruit now what that means is what what happens is now a uh, heavenly father told uh, 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 now, he, God is from heaven. Heaven, as we can see in the universe, has no restrictions. It's a limitless place. You know what I'm saying? As what we know that uh, scientists got Hubble and they are taking that Hubble telescope and going everywhere with it, trying to pretty much find a, a ceiling and trying to find a wall somewhere, trying to find a floor somewhere. But those attempts... You know, they can't find one. Well, that shows the idea re limitless, restrict, no restrictions concerning the ideas of heaven. Now, this is where God, you know, the God is established, you know, from a place of limitless, free, limitless, infinite. Um, Now, we are now, because we disobeyed this limitless God, now we have now positioned ourselves in a restricted area uh, or we're restricted on how we do things. We're restricted. We're restricted of how we hear things. We're restricted of how we see things. We're restricted of how we think. We're restricted of how we do things and we're restricted of how we live things. Now, um, it says, uh, well, uh, like it, for instance, um, as what it says, uh, Jesus says, that is my Mount Johnson reality, they have eyes, but they can't see. They're restricted. They have ears, but they can't hear. They're restricted. Neither do they understand in their hearts. Uh, Jesus is showing the condition of humanity that they're, because of the sin that has been going on throughout human history, that they're in a position of restricted. They're restricted to participating in things. But if you rewind back to Isaiah and Isaiah 6, that Isaiah 6 uh, was, you know, was mourning over the death of King Uzziah. And now God has presented himself, I guess, to him. And he, 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 he was in a restricted position of seeing Uzziah, the king, dead. But now he all of a sudden became aware to this infinite viewpoint pretty much because it says that uh, Isaiah saw the Lord high and lifted up and his train filled the temple. He's seeing heaven. He's seeing God. He's seeing a train. He's seeing surf, seraphims. He's seeing angels. He's seeing things that of a infinite position. And, 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 and now, you know, of course, Jesus now telling the disciples this ideal. Now, I'm going to go to uh, Matthews 18, 18. It says, Jesus says, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye bind on earth, binding is an ideal of 
restricting. You know what I'm saying? You know, you trying to as what bind, hold on to something. Uh, whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Therefore, if we bind the earth, if we live, or more likely, if we live in a place of restrictions that is holding us back from uh, doing things like hearing from God, uh, seeing the things of God, thinking like God, you know, doing the things of God and living the things of God, we are restricted from that activity if we are uh, binding the earth. Now watch this, it says, and whatsoever you lose, see, release, release the earth, release the restrictions of this earth. It's talking about a spiritual perspective. Release the spiritual perspective of the earth. You release heaven. You release heaven to see what heaven is all about. And what we need to understand concerning our everyday life of doing the things of God we are not supposed to be, if we truly trying to be of God, allowing restricted things of this world, pretty much, unfortunately, restricted what I talked about, the PT of a uh, cruiser, as in people and things. Satan's whole idea concerning us as what it says in Romans 8 and 6, to be carnal minded is death. To be spiritual minded is life and peace. The carnal mind, the carnal mind is a natural mind, a natural mind that thinks on the things of this earth, thinks on the things of this earth, so it restricts our thinking concerning thinking of the things of heaven to really trying to release us to really see what we're supposed to see based upon all things that are spiritual and natural. That, you know, is really when we uh, become Genesis 126, made in the image and the likeness of God, when we truly seek after God or uh, seek out, you know, seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, we are supposed to be about losing the restrictions of our, the natural things of us that we can see the spiritual thing. That's the whole aspect of Christianity. It's supposed to be about seeing what's spiritual. It's not supposed to be about uh, seeking after the earth, seeking after people, seeking after things. Uh, that will, but if we seek after those things, we're binding, we're binding ourselves spiritually to, and restricting ourselves to see what's going on in the spirit realm. And that's what I was talking about yesterday about the spiritual warfare. And the main spiritual warfare you must understand is the ideal if Satan can get you to desire the things of this world to restrict you from seeing what's spiritual and uh, concerning the things of God, he's going to whoop your behind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's, he's going to whoop your behind and you really position yourself for destruction. Because he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You position yourself on destruction. When you start believing the things of this earth is what you need to obtain, You he will more likely restrict you as what we know a person choking someone. You know what I'm saying? Is restricting a person from breathing to suffocate a person and then a person end up dying. Is what really this earth system is all about doing you is spiritually. Is doing to do this spiritually is trying to restrict you and suffocate you to desire the things of this earth that is created from restriction that you don't fulfill your divine purpose concerning what God has created you for. Is what I hope I can help you see in this teaching and you understand concerning what you hear and what you see and what you thinking and what you're doing and what you're living your life concerning the things of God or the things of this earth. You want to follow the earth, you're going to be restricted. You're going to follow heaven, you're going to release. That's what it says, Matthew 18, 18. Look at that. All right, that's the message. Hope it makes sense to you. Hope you understand it. Don't get restricted over a temporal earth. Be released to a forever heaven. So God be the glory of him forever and Jesus' name. Amen.